Hello guys and welcome to the weekly asset roundup with me, Pug Gaming. Now firstly, apologies for the 24 hour delay on this episode, it's been a busy week for myself and I must admit there's been a lot of decent assets released today and yesterday that haven't made it onto this week's show, but they will be next week. Let's do this. And to kick things off this week, we have the Marketplace Colonnade Pack by Acapelco. Now these beautiful buildings come in five pieces and they're the perfect buildings for building a beautiful market square. You have a few pathways through which you can put some beautiful paths through there so people actually walk through or even a road through that middle clock tower. So make sure you've got the Move It mod installed because you're going to need that to place these next to each other a lot easier that way. And the buildings themselves, as always, are fantastically textured and this is a really good little project to get going. And up next we have the Funk Term Radio Tower by Amy Plesia Funk. Now this tower is a beautiful tower built in Berlin and it's pretty much just a huge radio tower which we don't have too many about on the workshop so it's a very unique building something a little bit different to sort of emphasize your skylines and well what more can you want you need to have a radio station somewhere in your city don't you It's been a while since we had some nice park accessories and Tarja ups the level once more. We've got a couple of swinging seats and actually we have some movable items which we've seen a lot more of now and it really shows the creativity of creators where we've actually got movable items and it's more realistic in my opinion. Up next we have Hike with this seawall and it's been a little while since we had some pretty looking seawalls and this certainly is one of its kind. So you place this down as you do with the standard vanilla seawall so you've got a bit of adaptability and a bit better in terms of placement and the texture levels are 10 times better. And next up we have the return of Ronix and he's got the asphalt and pavement rail crossings. Personally, I've never been a fan of crossing roads over because they don't look realistic, but this, just this little addition to the workshop and as an asset, really makes things look a lot more realistic. Also this week.
Now I for one have certainly missed out on this asset creator's work, but at last Evania is back and she's created these beautiful surface rock packs. Firstly in red, and I'm sure we're going to see some more because they look fantastic. Now this creation really caught my eye on the workshop and not only because I've been there myself, but look at it. The texture levels are fantastic and this creator, Amiplesia Funk, has really done a great job. And I think we really appreciate seeing actual real buildings recreated in this game because we got a reference point. Not saying that other ones aren't as good, it's just when you've got something to compare against you can really see how talented these creators are. Fantastic model and I will be very much looking forward to placing this into one of my next builds. And last but not least, we have the beautiful Malmo Central Station set by Beard Monkey. And Beard Monkey pretty much took centre stage on the workshop front page this week with all of these creations. And you're not just getting one, you're able to build the complete complex of the Malmo Central Station. And when I say the whole thing, you get to build the platforms, the entrance, the office, the warehouse, the store and the main hall and together they look fantastic. Texture levels are absolutely out of this world. Beard Monkey really has excelled himself here. And if you want to see the models built into a beautiful new series, make sure you go and check out Taser, as he's the guy that the original buildings were built for. Nighttime views again, look at this. It's sensational, fantastic work from a creator that just keeps on giving. So guys, that brings us to the end of this week's Asset Roundup. As always, please leave your comments below. Let the creators know your thoughts on their models and give inspiration for new ideas and what you'd like to see next on the workshop. But as for me, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like the video if you did so. Until next time, all the best.